Yo, this is John T and this is my voice one day on T. My voice one month on T. This is my voice two months on T. This is my voice three months on T. This is my voice four and five months on T. This is my voice six months on T. Alright, yo, welcome people. My name is John T, aka John Tavis. I'm now six months on testosterone. Before we get into the changes, there are a few things that you may have noticed that are a bit different. First thing being the quality, I've got a new camera. I think it's usually unboxing because I was a bit too excited to shoot with it, so I'm gonna skip that part. I did record some footage and then take some pictures to experiment with it and see how it is and honestly i'm loving it so far it's a nice little compact camera and that it's even got an app for my phone so i can shoot remotely and everything i could go into all the other features but it's going to be a bit long i did do a little mini review of it on tiktok so you can go ahead and have a look at that another change will be my glasses i broke them at work i'm not going to explain how because it was so stupid but it involves some heavy lifting and some recoil and that's all i'm going to say with that i ordered in a new pair or well, two new pairs actually just in case because no me my clumsy ass will break them again i did try a little different style with it whenever i get those i will just update you guys it's funny because these are all prescriptions so i'm feeling hella blind with these but i can still just about manage anyways let's not waste any more time just getting to the changes these are my results from the last month's checkup these are my results from this month's checkup there's not much difference i've just lost a little bit of weight 0.05 kg to be precise i'm gonna include some pictures you can very well see that my facial hair has come in nicely it's starting to fill in in a couple areas i have to regularly shave my neck and facial area just to make sure it looks a bit more clean i am still using the demarola as well and i've been using my hair oil and my rosemary oil next change with my voice as i said on tiktok every time i do one of these updates it drops a bit further yeah that's all i have to say about that i've seen an improvement with vascularity if i take off this hoodie you'll be able to see my bicep vein is coming in nicely some of the forearm veins it's nice that i've actually got the camera now because i can actually show you some of the things that won't show up on the phone camera my physique has changed slightly i would say that i've lost some fat and i'm seeing a lot more definition with the muscles but yeah that's how we're looking now some of you men may be wondering what is this unrecognizable head shape that you've introduced us to i've recently got my hair done i took my hair out after a while it was well overdue i wore the casual curly for i love the way it looked i had to comb it out again though and combing it out was the worst part of it all but we did get through it and i had my friend come through and she did my hair all nicely and i would show it off now but my head top is looking atrocious I need to get a trim anyways enough of that the next change is my stomach hair you can see over here it's going in thicker right here and it's sort of spread out to these foreign areas this is a change that i've skipped over after my full month update i did stop getting periods entirely there's no spotting they've stopped completely i haven't seen them since which is an absolute blessing because i was not gonna deal with any of that shit that's all that i know about when it comes to to changes and stuff as i said in the last video i'm gonna skip the seven month update and just go straight into the eight month update there's nothing much to update on in just the span of a singular month i will notice changes but they won't be significant enough for me to elaborate on like in this video it's gonna be a bit shorter i'm gonna try and add a bit more content to try and make up for the time and like yeah like not much has happened in terms of life updates i've recently done the karyotype and cystic fibrosis blood for the egg freezing process so i'll be waiting for those results i should be getting them on the 11th of october i'll be updating you guys on that as the popular request i did make a little workout video just a little full body workout utilizing the stuff that i have at home i could put together a little video or a list or something going into like the equipment that i've bought i've spent a lot of money on equipment for gym especially during the lockdown and just in case something happens with my gym as for my diet and now i did make a quick little segment on um how i diet and how i do my shopping and everything <laughs> I get a lot of questions in regards to the food that I eat. I'm just gonna do a quick little rundown of like what I eat. It is ridiculously simple. Honestly, there's no need to overcomplicate it when you're trying to eat to gain muscle and that. It's gonna be very different for everyone um, because everyone has different body types. I can't speak for losing weight. I'm not too educated on that. I am still working on it. I would like to make content that will cater to everyone, not just people with my body type specifically. The most basic rule when it comes to dieting is that if you wanna gain weight or muscle, you need to eat in a caloric surplus. If you wanna lose weight, eat in a caloric deficit. Again, it's pretty self-explanatory, it's very simple. As as you track your macros i don't track anything i feel like a lot of people have this idea that i have articulate diet that's been planned out and, and everything and like i'm tracking everything i'm not tracking shit bro me personally i eat to the point where i feel like i'm full i try to do that as many times as i can i try to eat three to four meals a day in terms of supplements i just take the very basics um here's a little overview here we have these little creatine shoes i don't like having it in the powder form because it tastes like fucking sand these are really good though they're mint flavored they have sweetener they're vegan i try to consume around four throughout the day maybe one before after each meal 
It'll drink a lot of water to help with that as well. Creatine is pretty helpful for building muscles, supplying energy to your muscles. I do also take electrolyte to have them like during my workouts. This one is orange flavored. They're very sweet, so whenever I do eat them, I do follow up with a lot of water. It should help you to reduce heat stress, boost stamina, reduce muscle cramping, and maintain your electrolyte levels. It does say it right here on the packet. BCAAs good for muscle recovery, helps with muscle protein synthesis. I do have these on days where I'm feeling pretty sore. It does tend to help. Obviously, it's not like a cure all for the soreness. It just helps to make it a little bit more manageable. Protein shake, the most obvious one. I try to have these with a meal or like you know as much as I can throughout the day. Here I have a salted caramel flavor. I prefer to have it with milk. Sometimes if I'm you know time options, I will have it with water. But yeah, I just take like a scoop of this and like 500 mils of water or milk. Each 30 gram serving there's around 22 grams of protein. It's not too bad. Speaking of protein, this is something pretty basic. I've showed this off in a TikTok video. I almost fucking unplug my phone fam these oats are uh, protein oats i tried to have at least two sessions of these try to eat them every morning if i'm not having bacon and eggs or whatever the fuck yeah 18.8 grams of protein in every meal that i have containing two of these yeah i think that's it for the supplements actually no it's, uh, i forgot about the fucking tablets ashwagandha two tablets a day magnesium and zinc two tablets a day Forty vitamins and iron one a day and vitamin d one day i need to get some more actually some cod liver oil and some omega-3s so i've run out of a few things i'm just gonna go ahead and go shopping real quick and then come back and i'm gonna go over all the things that i've bought hey man so i'll see you in a bit <laughs> So I've returned, I've done a little bit of shopping, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get into all the very healthy things that I've purchased on my time out. Like yeah, quite a few things I picked up. First thing is the bagels, they're really good for breakfast. I have them with like bacon and eggs and that. Try to pick up like more microwaves with rice because it's easier to deal with, like it's easier to um look about. You're really looking for simplistic meal prep. Just get these, save your time of cooking rice. Rice pudding, nah, this is my fucking favorite. It's a nice little quick snack to add little things like cinnamon. So I'll add a bit of sy syrup, raspberry syrup, and I've got some cinnamon here. It adds to the flavor a little bit, you know, it tastes nice. I pick up some juice boxes, I keep a decent stock of these. Cereal, I fucking love cereal. I do be eating them oats. Sometimes I have those really weird, ambiguous moments where I'm not, I don't really know what to eat. So my go-to would be cereal. I'll buy like a decent amount of chicken to season up. What I'll do with the chicken, actually, let me show you. As you can see right here, you have like two pieces of chicken drumstick. Um, seasoned up all nicely. I just put them in like a nice little bag like this and just leave them in the fridge. Obviously, there's, I'm on my last two now, but I'd usually pair this with like a bit of rice. Patties, no, I didn't buy these. These are just in the fridge. Patties have been a lifesaver. I have one of those like really ambiguous moments where I don't know if I'm hungry or not. I'll just eat a patty. Got lamb right here, chicken, got some beef. These are really good, have a decent amount of protein in them. 7.2 grams of protein per 100 grams. I'm not gonna do the math so you can just figure that out. Four patties in each of these, 540 grams total. Those are a few things that I eat during the day. Take from that what you will. Obviously, I'm not telling you how to diet and that. I'm just sharing from my personal experience. There are plenty of other videos out there that explain these things properly. I'm gonna leave some videos in the description that will be helpful for people who wanna have a more professional opinion on dieting um, especially trans youtubers because i noticed that a lot of these people aren't really getting as much attention as they deserve and you know they're putting i can see that they're putting a lot of effort into their video that's it for my diet segment um you lot enjoy the rest of the video and uh Anyways, I think that's about it. Yeah, not much to talk about now. I'll update you guys when I hit eight months of tea and I'm gonna try and get another video in, in between that to try and make up for the time. But yeah, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting and thank you for just being here the entire time. You guys take care of yourselves and that and peace.